who can remind us what do we mean by the word text? What is a text? What's in A text is a piece of writing. All of us? A text is a piece of writing. Now, right, today we are doing a poem as another piece of writing. I was focusing on reading a poem, focusing on a poem as another type of a text. The poem has features. Just remind me, anything that is in the poem, what is it? Let us analyze the poem. What is in the poem? Spamanda, take the word tidy in this word and show it to the class. Show it to the class. Read it for us, class. Andila? The writer. Somebody to run and look for the word writer. I've got my own words here. Somebody to run. Tom Forty, show it to the class. The writer. Title, the writer. Another one. Zinta? Dixin. All of us? Dixin. No wonder? Come running. Identify the word Dixin. Read it, class. Dixin. And? Show it to the class. Rhythm. 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 This rhythm. The last one. Slindila. Right. Class. Right. You can come and take the word that I'm on the board and show it to us as Mangela. Right. Right. Very good. The teacher they must make sure that they make the lesson exciting. The learners must enjoy the lesson. And the teacher must be vibrant enough so that the teacher doesn't bore the learners. We are now going to look at the figures of speech. Look at the what? Figures of speech. Yes. Okay? Yes. Any figure of speech that you can remember? What figure of speech, Innocent? Metaphor. Metaphor. There is a? Metaphor. There is a metaphor. Meta? Oh. What else? Yebo? Alliteration. Alliteration. Class? Alliteration. Alliteration. Okay. Alliteration. Yes? Sina. Yes? Personification. Yes? Asone. Asone. Uh huh. Ono Asone. I start by giving the pictures to the learners so that they will start by predicting what will be happening. By the time I finish, I want you to tell me, what can you see? Then so, moving from there, we do the so, stage, what is known as the pre-reading stage, where by now, they are going to look at the pictures and tell me what is happening in the, in the in the poem. Right. Look at those pictures that are in front of you. Tell me anything that you can see there. Anything. Samantha? Cows. They are cows? Cows. What else? What do you see in this one? Trees. Trees. Very good. What else? Kulagani? Houses. Houses. Good. Anything else? Zandila? People who are women. The people who are women. Yeah. Very good. Just look at that picture and tell me what is the time of the day do you think it is? It's not gonna? Afternoon. It's afternoon. Why are the cars important to your culture? Who can tell us? Because they are cows there. Are they important to your culture? We slaughter them when we are making a ceremony. Even myself, we do slaughter the cows at home. But the, we, we are not forgetting those who are not slaughtering them, okay? Yes. Okay? Yes. What else can we do with the cows? Yes? We pay a lobola. We pay a lobola. And then step number two, it will be the, the during stage. In the during stage, 
That is where, as a teacher, I read the poem for them, so that for, for modeling, for correct pronunciation, so that the groups will read after me. The cattle are brought in from grazing. Birds stop singing from the forest. The last buckets of water are brought in. A little light is seen from each hut. Group one. The cattle are brought in from grazing. Birds stop singing from the forest. The last buckets. Yes. Day is done. Gone the sun. It's dark in Africa. Group four. Day is done. Gone the sun. It's dark in Africa. Thank you. And then after that, there is a stage which is called post reading, where the learners are expected to answer the questions to demonstrate the understanding of the lesson. Right, stand the one here, you record all the events, you identify the figure of speech, and you identify the word or the phrase that make you say it's alliteration, if it's alliteration, okay? Figure of speech? Personification. Personification, why personification? The sun, the sun goes to sleep. Excellent. So, great six. And we have moved from analysis, figure of speech, to the reading of a poem, to the external structure, to the activity. Is that so? Yes. So, that was the end of the lesson. Did you enjoy the lesson? Yes. Did you enjoy the lesson? Yes. I enjoy the lesson because it is not teacher-centered. I involve the learners because I believe when I give them a chance, to do the activities themselves. It won't be easy for them to forget that lesson. But if I do everything for them, it's very easy for them to forget.